Hello, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about some of the discoveries that um, we have carried out and, and found with some of the analysis that we've recently uh, done with my family. Um, we have published a paper in a new journal called Faculty 1000 Research and uh, you can have a um, look at the paper uh, at the following address which you'll see down there. And um, I would like to summarize today some of the things that we basically write about there. Um, so the initial starting point was that we had five 23andMe um, genotypes from five members of my family, myself, my mom, my dad, my sister and my um, auntie. And she's, she's my mom's sister. And the idea was, first of all, uh, try to calculate um, what's the call of uh, what we call Mendelian inheritance errors. Mendelian, Mendelian inheritance errors are important to sort of calculate whether any call, any SNPs that, that we have in our sample are actually miscalled. And this usually happens when you find that the, let's say the son has a specific SNP AA and then let's say that the mother has a TT and the father has a GG, okay? So it is impossible that the son had inherited AA because none of the uh, parents actually have that um, genotype. And that's what makes us believe or sort of calculate what are the sort of Mendelian inheritance errors. We were able to find that I'm equally close to my mom as my, and, and my dad. And then my sister actually, uh, we found that she's got a deletion that has inherited from my dad and, you know, something like 0 to 0.3% of her SNPs are more similar to my dad. And that, that difference was found to be significant. Then the other very interesting aspect that we were able to find was that uh, it seems that my mother's line, my maternal line, has a sort of predisposition to uh, have problems with the heart. Um, we could see very clearly that both my mom and my uh, auntie did have these uh, predispositions. Uh, these, these predicted phenotypes came from annotations that we had taken from Snipedia. And then I was also able to find that my paternal line seems to have a risk of baldness. But if you look at my hair and my dad's hair, um, I'm not sure that I actually uh, believe that because, you know, there is, that doesn't seem to be quite a lot of uh, problems of baldness in my family. And something that was really interesting was to try to find uh, whether any of our family members is actually more different to, let's say, an outgroup. And so we took a, an Indian um, ethnic background individual and then compared the similarity that all of us have against this particular person. And we found that actually um, all of us are equally uh, similar to the Indian person. So, I mean, it makes sense because you, you would expect that we are all sort of uh, quite homogeneous Southern European background. And then, you know, I think it was quite interesting as well to find that actually both my mom and my dad, they, they seem to be within the cloud of a, a set of uh, Southern Spanish individuals that we had, actually a cloud between Spain and Portugal. And then actually uh, my mom seemed to be a little bit of an outlier from, from Spain uh, leaning towards Italy. So that was quite interesting. And we were able to find that actually there hasn't been any sort of incestuous relationship uh, from in my mom or my dad. I They all seem to be, they both seem to be quite sort of uh, far, far enough in the sort of inheritance <laughs> And uh, they are not cousins or something. So that, that was quite interesting to find. So, okay, bye.